Hi, I'm Liz Larson, back with some cake decorating basics. With Easter and spring coming, it's time to start learning some more spring flowers. Today I'm going to show you how to make a really simple calla lily. And as always, with my designs, they're piped on. So let's get started. I'm going to put down uh, just a stem here, just as a reference point. So as I show you the callas, we're not just looking at this silver tray here. I've got my number 124, and remember that we're always going to hold in um, this 45 degree angle. So a calla is really a different flower because it's not really a petal. You pipe the whole flower at once. So you're going to go backwards, aim your tip backwards towards yourself. It's kind of uncomfortable at first. You want your hand on your turntable so you can turn the turntable. We begin where we're kind of parallel to the table, to the turntable. Begin and squeeze. We're pivoting around. Pivoting, pivoting, pivoting. And see how I start to rock up here? And I'm turning the pedal up. Then I'm going to come back down like a question mark. You can see how that is. Let me turn it around a little bit. Let me show you that one more time here. So I'm parallel, flat to the counter. I'm going to start to squeeze. I'm going to turn my turntable while I pivot. Keep turning. Stop turning at the turntable about here. And bring it back down like a question mark. I'm going to show you one more time. And actually, when you do your college, you kind of want to do them in this arrangement, in an arrangement of three at different levels. So one more time. Pivot, 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 turn the turntable, continue to pivot, and background. And I want to show you one more variation of this. So we'll just do this one up here. This would not be the way you would do your arrangement is add this one, but I want to show you this one too. We're going to start at the same, but when we pivot around and get to about here, you want to bring it up and make a point. Come back and continue to pivot around. Callas actually do have a point on them and you can make it a little more pointy if you choose. So, to finish up, callas have a nice uh, big fat stamen. So we've got just a bag filled with some yellow and I've cut the tip off here about the size of a four rider. When I get just right down in here, squeeze, let it build and pull to a point. So right down in, squeeze, let it build, release your pressure, and keep pulling backwards. Get down in there, squeeze, release your pressure, and keep pulling backwards. Now we're not quite finished. You turn this back around so I can see. So at the question mark part, the bottom of our calla, we're going to use, uh, same again, a, a green bag cut at about a size 4 writer. And we're going to fill in this back space here, squeeze, let it build, and bring it down into your stem. Squeeze, let it build, and bring it down into your stem. And that is really about it. That's as simple as calla lilies really are. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make these calla lilies in buttercream as always and piped on. Today for these, just as a reminder, I used a number 124 tip and just a couple of paper bags. Don't forget to subscribe here with us. As always, it's free. Join me at The Art of Frosting, www.theartoffrosting.blogspot.com to see a lot more designs. We'll see you all again soon. There's lots and lots more to come.